hello YouTube this is Mike with phonejunkie.org I am bringing you a quick hands-on and unboxing of the Motorola Droid Razor HD as well as the Motorola Droid Razor Map. So you open up your box and all these have the little nice uh, suede fill to it as you can see there pull off the box there give you a little pull tab here so you just pull the phone out now the Droid Razor M HD and the Max HD all come in the same type of boxing here so here you have your phone which I will go ahead and turn on for you Sorry about the glares there. Have a lot of light for you to see. The sticker tells you where everything's at here. You have your lock, unlock button, as well as your power button. You have your 3.5 millimeter head jack here on top. You have your volume up and down rocker. On the back you have your 8 megapixel camera as well as your LED flash 1080p high definition video record you have the Kevlar back here so if you ever get shot at and you do have the phone in your upper pocket it might save your life one day you have your mini HDMI port as well as your micro USB charging port and you have your SIM card tray as well as your micro SD card they go in the same spot right there so I'll go ahead and set this phone down while it is loading up go to see what else is in here so you just pull up this little tab and you have the your little travel charger Go ahead and take this out. Wow, so it looks like you get two USB ports. And then right here we probably have our micro USB cable, charging cable here. Motorola data cable All right, so that's that with the unboxing here and the Motorola Razor HD let me keep all this stuff separate here comes with the exact same thing just a different phone so we have both of them on I do have two different backgrounds that way I could tell them apart. Let's go ahead and get these front stickers off. And as well that comes inside the box is the usual paperwork, warranty information, and then you they give you a little SIM card tool. And this actually makes it really easy to get them out. And it one thing I like about this better than the Apple one is it's easier to use and it feels comfortable in the hands. Sometimes with the Apple ones, that metal one, the paperclip style, it was just really hard to push in and just didn't want to work. So you just go down there and you stick it in there and the little tray pops out. And as you can see, you have your micro SD card slot here on the left, as well as your mini SIM card here for LG capabilities, or LTE, excuse me, capabilities. These are always good to have around. And my basic first impressions are, I really like this device. The Razer Max and the HD are not that much thicker than one another. The specs on these are pretty good as well. You have, they are LTE capable. The Max HD is 9.3 millimeters thick. The Droid Razer HD is 8.4 millimeters thick. So as you can see, it's not that 
too much of a difference there. Just a tiny hair. The weight isn't too far apart either. The Max HD is 5.54 ounces and the Razor HD is 5.15 ounces. These both have splash resistant on here for extra protection so if you actually spill a soda or some water it gives you a little bit more protection. Now it's not saying it's waterproof so still be very careful. They have a Super AMOLED capacitive touchscreen 720 by 1280 pixels 4.7 inches what seems right about the right side the perfect size for phones right now so 4.7 actually works very well it does have Gorilla Glass to help protect your screen there it has a micro SD card up that will take it up to 32 gigabytes. The Razer Max has 32 gigabytes of storage, onboard storage, and the Razer HD has 16 gigabytes. These both have 4.0 Bluetooth capabilities. The camera is an 8 megapixel autofocus LED flash 1080p video camera image stabilization, face detection, all the good stuff. The front facing camera is a 1.3 megapixel. It is shipped with Android 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich. It is upgradable to Jelly Bean 4.1 when it is released, but we know how that goes. It is, has a dual core 1.5 gigahertz Snapdragon S4 processor. These come in black and white colors. To me, I kind of like the black a little bit better. I definitely like, like the feel of it. And now the Razer Max has a 3300 milliamp hour battery compared to the Razer HD, which has a 2000. 530 milliamp battery. You're still going to get amazing battery life out of the Razer HD, but if the battery life has always been a concern for you or you need the maximum, I would definitely go for the Razer Max HD. Now, don't quote me on the prices, but I believe with the two year contract, the Max is 299 and the HD is 199. And you can kind of see the difference between the, I have the Motorola Droid Razor M here on my right and the HD on my left on the size difference. Sorry about the lights here, I'm doing it in a different room today. I just received these phones in just about a couple hours ago. I wanted to go in and make a quick video for you there. I've actually been a pretty big fan of Motorola phones especially since the Motorola Atrix was released. So I've been pretty much a fan with their software. I think they leave Android almost stock, closest to stock as possible, more than Samsung or HTC does. And to me it has better functionality, easier to switch between things, and just a lot more smoother to run for me. Well, I will definitely see you guys later with the full review after I test these devices out and put these the max you know to the test of the battery there but you all have a great day make sure you comment any requests on the videos just don't be afraid to ask leave in the comment below or email me at mike at phonejunkie.org